Hello and welcome to Mountain Aromatics. It's natural day, so I'm going to go over two naturals that are great fixatives. I know a lot of people love doing natural perfumery and <clears throat> one of the cool things about doing naturals actually is there are a lot of fixatives that are naturals and today I'm going to go over two of them. The first one is Virginia Cedarwood and it is, I have two Virginia Cedarwoods and what's interesting is one the one from Eden Botanicals is very, very, very dark. You can also get one, um, hold on. And then the second Virginia Cedarwood that I have is from, as soon as I wanna think about it, I lost the name of the place. Um, and, um, it'll come to me. It'll come to me, but it is um, almost clear. It's definitely not like this, as you can see how um, dark this is on the test strip. Um, very woody. I put it at 100% on the test strip, and it just it has no problem with blooming and. the woody facets coming forward. It's interesting because it's a, 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 one time I smell it and it's clean, like right there it was clean. And then you can also smell it's like a older wood as well at the same time. And then you can smell it like if it was, if I were smelling warm sawdust if I close my eyes, I think I'm smelling warm sawdust on a hot summer, hot summer day, and it's not. And then, so I'm gonna open my mouth when I smell. Um, <clears throat> it smells totally different. You need to do that. Sometimes when you smell, smell with your mouth open especially like your vanillas and all of that anything that's yeah any any of your stuff actually just do it as well with your mouth closed with your mouth open it is fresh i know i said it's a fresh wood i know i said an old wood it's it's that complex it's just sometimes i smell old wood and sometimes i smell new fresh wood sometimes it smells like it's not a warm wood and then like it's just wood at a normal temperature and then sometimes I, I can I can smell a warm summer day wood the wood that's been sitting out in the Sun both when I, I'll tell you this, here's the thing to me about Virginia Cedarwood. When I started perfumery, I smelled Virginia Cedarwood and I just was like, uh, I didn't really like it. I was just like, this is harsh and it smells just harsh. I don't like it. And as my nose has become more refined and learned a vast array of little aromas. I absolutely love, I, this is me, I prefer Virginia Cedarwood over Texas Cedarwood, but watch videos two years from now and I could totally change my mind. It could, it could change because my nose changes and I've said this before and your nose will continue to change and I think the biggest thing I mean by that is not like you're gonna like something and then hate it later I mean 
the the different facets to me i when i first smelled this great example when i first smelled this it was one thing it was virginia cedarwood Ooh, i don't like it it's very harsh and now i just gave you all these different descriptions and descriptors of it i could never have done years ago and I'm just like, wow, that is, it's, it's amazing. It's absolutely beautiful. And I can get all the different nuances out of it. It would be the same thing like years ago. I had a really good whiskey and I dr probably drank a little bit of whiskey. And I was like, ew, that's whiskey. It burns my throat. And that's all I could tell you. Or now... If I took a sip of whiskey on the rocks and I said, whoa, the, the caramel, the, I can even get a little bit of oak. I get a, van I get a, like a Madagascar vanilla in there. I get the, all the different nuances that I can taste now that I have stopped and took the time to <clears throat> one, gain the appreciation, and then two, my palate has changed and become more refined. So when I say changed, I mean gets better and better and better. That's what I mean. So that's what's happened with me. And the same thing will happen with the second one, because I haven't smelled it in a while. But it's um, Amorous, A-M-Y-R-I-S. It's has been for many many years called poor man's sandalwood but whatever it definitely is a base last oh my god 400 hours last forever um it is a west indian sandalwood this is actually a great fixative because it is not a strong aroma like this one the virginia cedarwood is a strong aroma like you're going to want to use it when you need a cedar in your formula but this one is it has the thing i think why people call it or it's been called like poor man's cedarwood whatever is it has that creamy it has the creamy facets of cedar, of sandalwood. I think I said cedarwood earlier, sorry. Sandalwood, poor man's sandalwood. Um, anyway, it's great for your naturals because it does have some of the facets of sandalwood and it, the one of the, I think I put it on my nose. One of the major components of that is the creaminess. This is definitely creamy. It does not smell like sandalwood. It is part of sandalwood. It does have a... <clears throat> it's almost the less... The thing that's the least pronounced is the wood part because it's not woody smelling it's more of a creamy and balsamic um, or balsam balsamic um, aroma it's it is although it's a base it is a very it's hard to hard to detect i mean it just is it doesn't smell strong at all it's not strong which is great for a fixative right absolutely so you're going to use this when you use wood when you use sandalwood when you need some creaminess really like when you just need creaminess in a formula and you don't want to you know a lot of wood you just are looking for a little bit of creaminess that's not a coconut creamy this is a, a 
perfect go-to because it's not that strong. And the thing that to me is the most forward is the creaminess. But it's clean and it's not a buttery. I don't know why I don't like buttery smells and perfumery, but I don't like buttery. I love creamy and lactone, lactic, um, all of that kind of stuff. I love that. But when it gets into the buttery, buteric, I don't like. But this is not that. So this... <clears throat> Um, that is how you can use it. You can use it for a creaminess where you don't want coconut, where you don't want butter. Good with wood will help with a sandalwood accord as part of a sandalwood accord. But definitely do not look for it to be woody because it's just not woody. It has a little bit of, will remind you of a little bit of sandalwood and a hard to detect, but a tiny dash of pepper, tiny dash of pepper. Um, but that is why I picked that because it's really versatile that way. It's really, really, it's pretty amazing and it's all natural. So those are two naturals and two different camps, one that's a very strong wood and then one that is not. And so hopefully that gives you some variety and some things to choose, choose from and for two completely different purposes. So I appreciate you being here for the fixatives and um, we'll do some more fixatives and thank you so much for being here and supporting me and um, a couple of ways you can do that is just um, hit the like button you can also share this video and um, subscribe there are a lot of people who watch who are not subscribed so if you just want to hit the subscribe button and you know if you want to be notified you don't have to but if you would like to be notified just hit the notification button and I will see you on the next Mountain Aromatics. Have a good day.